Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Medieval Engineers. I'm the Radio Man 03, and you can bet it's awesome to have you along. Getting started on a brand new week of episodes for you guys. Hopefully we'll get a few of them in this week. I uh, started learning the advanced mechanics and ran out of flax to make cloth for the windmill. So I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm that far along with it. I just need four more pieces of cloth, I believe, to finish the windmill off, and it'll be up and running. So I'm getting the flax planted right now. I just picked a bunch that was right here. I've also started kind of a small farm plot right over there in that dirt patch. Right over there, I've got flax and cabbages growing over there. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I just ran out of flax. I made one thing I probably should have hold, held off on, but I made one of Story Pass Productions uh, chandeliers for the front entryway. They look really cool. Uh, plant. There we go. Come on. Oh, that did not plant. I lost a seed right there. Don't want to do that. It's never a good thing to lose a seed. And that's going to be it, I think. It's all of them. I believe that's all I've got in my inventory. Yeah, I made four more bags of seeds with the flax. And that is fantastic. Also, just before I got on today, I ran into a barbarian with this map. And I'm not sure if that's map available to us or not. But I managed to grab that off of him. And I'd like to track that down this week. I think it would be fun. We still don't have our pumpkins. So that's something we can go after and take a look and see if we can get a hold of. But I did get the windmill up until this stage. Now, this is as far as the advanced mechanics has gotten me so far. Once I finish that windmill, I don't know if I'm done with the quest or not. But I've got the windmill up here. And then down below here, it wanted me to build um, a, a grist mill, I think is what it was. A grist mill down here. So I've got it set up. Uh, I think I want to take the parts from that windmill and actually use it over at the uh, where the warehouse is going to go. And put that in place there so that we can do the lumber mill stuff. This is one of the chandeliers. This is the, the chandelier from Storied Past Productions. There it is up there on the ceiling. I'm going to have to try to find a way to see if I can hang that down lower so it kind of swings a little bit in this hallway. Sip my coffee real quick. But that takes um, flax and metal pieces. So uh, it's not all that expensive to make. But I've got a limited amount of flax. So I didn't want to make any more. And uh, I kind of ran out of it to make the cloth. And you need flax in order to make linseed oil. Which is something new to the game uh, that I had not experienced yet. The linseed oil is used in all of these parts right here. So you're going to have to have linseed oil for all of this stuff. Every time you make one of these, a jar of linseed oil is needed for that. And you make the jars with clay in the kiln over here. And then the linseed oil you put inside this guy right here. And this makes your linseed oil. So you need the, uh, the clay jars in your inventory. And then you need the flax in your inventory as well. And then you can make the linseed oil. And then you can make the parts that you need for everything up there. Uh, to put those things together. Right now, what I needed was the uh, spinning wheel. I think we needed four pieces of cloth, so I want to get that going here. I have a piece right there. Let's go ahead and take all of this and throw it in here. Like that, right there. And it's is it two of these that makes it... It's four. Uh, no, I want this. I'm sorry. Three. Why am I... Oh, let's get that out of here. Let's see here. I need four pieces of cloth. So I need 12 of these. No, 16. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need four of these. Oh, do I ever. I think I have one of these in my inventory. No, I don't. Okay, so we're going to do this next. One, two. You only get one. Okay. And then four of those. And that should finish off the windmill. And I'm kind of curious to see if that's going to be the end of the quest. If I'm, if I've finished the quest. I hope I did. I hope it opens the lumber mill stuff for me so that I can make the lumber mill. I would love to get that going. If we can possibly today on the episode up there, I don't know. I'm going to have to move some things around up there. And I've not gotten the warehouse area dug out either. So there's always that too that needs to be done. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so if I go up this way... Can I reach that from here? There it goes. Craft one coarse millstone tool head. Isn't that beautiful? That is really, really well done. I love that. Uh, let's get this out of here. We're done with all of this stuff. Just a little bit of scaffolding for me. What's going on here? Oh, I gotta get up there. Uh, here, hold on. 
You know what? Let me knock this stuff down. And I'll come back, okay? So you guys don't have to watch me uh, stumble around getting this stuff here. I'm just gonna get this all knocked down. The scaffolding will be ready to rock and roll and get move on to the next thing here. All right, the millstone is located inside the workbench. So it takes some stone. If we click on this right here, some stone and then some round timbers. It doesn't take the square ones at all. It's got to be the round ones. So let's craft one of those guys up. That's the next thing it wants us to do. We'll get that taken care of. And as we walk back upstairs, I'll talk about a couple of other things that you guys brought up that are absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's, there we go. let's go ahead and take that. We're going to put that right down. Can we not put that in our inventory? Hmm. Okay, I bet we got to put it. We have to put it in the machine, actually. Uh, so as you can see, this has not been dug out yet. It really won't take very long to dig this out, but it's just uh, kind of a pain to do. But I'll, I'll go ahead and do that and get that taken care of off camera. Uh, one of you had mentioned that it's possible that the, this door sticks because uh, they weren't finished yet. They still needed the metal pieces in it, the metal parts. Uh, let's see. I'm still getting stuck every now and again. It's not as bad, but it you do get stuck in this doorway. One of you brought up the fact that I might be able to actually run the bridge that I'm talking about over to the spire from right here. That is a possibility. Although it doesn't line up very well up there. But I don't know. We'll have to work that out. But that is an option for here. We could actually do maybe even a third bridge that goes over it and attaches to that. We're, we're up ways off the ground, but it, it is doable. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Interesting thought. And since it's really a footbridge for the warehouse, that would work just fine. So I'll keep that in mind. That is a very good suggestion. I also wanted to show you that I tried out those um, uh, metal parts. I, I got the doors finished up with the metal parts. I also finished up the rail. I had forgotten this last piece right here. And Billy High let me know, and I don't know how I forgot this, but if you go to G, uh, if you go to the roofing pieces, I don't know how I did this, but um, uh, I beg your pardon. If you go here, right here, there is a the rounded wooden roof right there. So we could have used that guy up on this uh, up on this roof right here. Now that's not as tall a roof, so it's going to look a little different. But so I think I'm going to stick with that one right there. Like I said, or I've said many times over in the village and stuff like that, we'll start getting into different roof colors and stuff like that. But this is kind of the main theme of the entryway, and this is all part of the entryway until you get actually until we go over this direction and get onto that spire. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, so let's head on back over to the windmill and see if we can't get that thing fired up and uh, doing what it needs to do. And I'm kind of, or like I said, I'm hoping I can get that windmill. I would really love to have that windmill, or not the windmill, but the uh, the lumber yard. Ah, beautiful. Uh, I was busy with barbarians already today. I was in the mine digging up stone, and they seemed to show up right where I was at. As soon as I walked out, there was a couple of them to kill. So that's where I got the map and a couple of skulls, which was pretty cool. All right, let's see what we do here. We go into here. And... Can we shift-click this guy in? There we go. Okay, beautiful. Craft two flower sacks. Oh. Now I need wheat. <laughs> okay. Is there any wheat growing out in the field here? I don't think so. I think I picked all of it. Oh, God, I think I might have turned it all into flour, too, already. Flour sacks. The flour sacks, if you didn't notice, I had the uh, the grinding stone out here, too, already. So I grabbed that. I've not learned the gourmet cooking stuff. I'm trying to learn the quests as we go and we can further progress along the world. I'm kind of looking at it that way instead of just learning all of it and having it all to my disposal. It's kind of fun to come back here and uh, to learn a few of the different things here in the other quests. Instead of getting them all taken care of at once. Uh, no, there's no wheat in there. Do we have any wheat sacks in here? We've got two. I got five wheat. Aw, oh, man. I don't think I've got any more wheat. None there. None there. There's a flour sack there. A wheat sack right there, too. Dang it. I don't have any more. I don't have any more wheat. Uh, all right, give me one second. I'm gonna run out and, and get I need two sacks. I think it's eight per For the flour, so I need to get at least oh my gosh at least another 13 of them So uh, give me a second and I'll be right back And we've made it back. I've got some uh, wheat a little bit not a whole lot But I've got some wheat hopefully it's enough to get us to the quest and then I picked up a fair amount of flax too, just walking around too I went out the opposite direction from here other side of the spires and went down and around the corner and came back and I found a fair bit of uh, stuff to get us going. No pumpkins, but I found cabbage, uh, wheat, 
And then I did find some flax, like I said. So we've got a little bit of everything right there. Now this flax is going to be a couple days before it grows. And that stuff down in that field over there should grow, I don't know, within the next day or two. <clears throat> I think it's two sunrises that you've got to wait. I think that's what it is. About two sunrises, it seems like. So let's see if we can get this quest accomplished here. That is really cool how that moves like that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, shift and click that stuff in there. There it is. There's one, two, three. So it uses less product to make these. That's great. Okay, so we've got five. So let's see. Oh, I've got to eat something too. A couple of salads off of dead barbarians. Okay, what does it say? Craft two flour sacks. Place the coarse tool head in the grist mill tool head. Inventory and wheat straws to be crafting inventory and watches they are crafted automatically into flour sacks. Craft two flour sacks. I just did that. There we go. There we go. You have unlocked. Let's see if I unlocked the other stuff. It looks like I did. Yeah, I've got everything unlocked now, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Is this the lumber mill? Mechanical sawmill. Linseed oil. That's pretty cheap to make. That's really cheap to make. We need this guy right here. That's the guy we want right there. Let's go see about making him. We got all the parts that we can need to uh, make that guy right there. A little bit of a lag spike there as we're saving. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. We've got our first snow finally scheduled to arrive. At this point in time where I live, we should have had 32 inches of snow for the winter. We have had zero snow. So we've got an inch of snow coming in the next couple of days. An inch, that's it. But we'll take it. We've had nothing for such a long time that we need it really bad. So I'm going to throw the flax in there. We've got food over here. I'm going to drop all the food off. Looks like we're on the shorter day cycle right now. Doesn't bother me. And let's go ahead and throw some of this stuff in here, too, that we don't need right now. Like this map. We're going to hold on to that. We'll throw the cabbages in here. And those flower sacks as well. Yeah, see here at the map... Uh, where do we where do we make maps? Is it in the workbench? Or is it in our own personal inventory that we make the maps? Um, can't recall. I know it's one of these areas here. One of these places here where we make the maps and... and there's like three different choices of maps, but I don't recall ever seeing this one with the book in it. So I'm hoping maybe that's going to be that king statue that we have to learn. You have to go out and find the knowledge for it. So it might be I discovered some interesting ideas and wrote them down. And it sounds like it's going to be on there when we find it. So hopefully that'll be the case. But yeah, I would love to track that down this week. All right, let's see what we need to make for this, uh, this guy right here. This is our guy. Let's get this stuff out of our hot bar. Okay, he's back to G again. Let's see, what do we need? We need 20 mechanical parts, one linseed oil. Okay, so we need one linseed oil. I threw all that over here. I don't know why I moved this all the way over here. We keep running back over to this area. Uh, let's take... Let's go control, double click. What does that give us out of there? 12 of them. Let's take the 12 and turn these guys into some linseed oil. Just so we've got a few extras laying around. Um, I need clay jars though too. I've got one in here. This does not go in there. Oh, 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 okay, okay, right, right. Gotta turn me to seeds first to crush the seeds for the oil. That's right, okay. Should be able to craft up six of those. These ought to go in here then. There we go. Let's take that flower out. We'll throw that in. No, let's take that out. Throw that in. There we go. I should be able to craft up one of these guys right here. One flax, one clay jar. Do I have enough clay to make any more clay jars? I think I feel like we're gonna need at least three more. Let's get those guys going too. Eventually, we're going to need three more because we're going to want to get uh, kind of creative with the, uh, the different brackets and um, what do they call these things anyways. Um, come on, let me back in here. There we go. These guys right here, these mechanical shafts, there's multiple ones. And remember, I always forget there's plus signs in some of these corners. So, you know, be sure to check. There's multiple options for each of these and what they can do and stuff like that. So, and the way they look. So just uh, keep that in mind. 
It's always something I forget. Uh, did I get three of them? One more coming. All right, beautiful. We'll make up a few more of these guys, and then we'll have this uh, ready to rock and roll for us. If we need them, we'll have them. And by the way, the charcoal, it is really the route to go. I've not had to make any more charcoal, not since that first day that we were together working on that stuff. And you guys told me charcoal. There we go. So let's make one, two, three of those. Okay. Awesome. We've got a bunch of skulls in our inventory we don't need. And we have some more free metal coming in. Because those barbarians are just so kind. Just so kind. One, two. So yeah, an inch of snow. That's it. But it's supposed to be a start of something, hopefully much bigger. There's 15. There's 20 of those. We need those in order to proceed forward. We got this, the linseed oil. We're good to go there. Which is fantastic. There we go. We got some more iron in there. And we should have some more linseed oil bottles in here. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to our inventory, see what else we need here. So we got the oil, we got that. We need eight planks, one round timber, and eight regular timbers. Do I have any logs in my inventory? I do not have logs in my inventory, so we are going to need a log. Uh, before we get crazy, though, let's go ahead and take these guys. It's going to be dark because we're at the uh, southern hemisphere, so that's the way it goes around here. And I'm not going to switch to all daylight. I'm not going to do it. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Don't do those sort of things. We'll just leave the day cycle as it is and deal with it. I just have to remember to put torches up for you guys to see. So I apologize if sometimes it gets a little bit dark. Uh, I don't think I have any round timbers up here. And I don't have any logs up here, too. So we are going to have to go chop down a tree. Oh, that... Ooh, what? Wow, that did not even hurt me. Should have probably killed me. Probably should have died with that one. Let's go get a tree. I'm not chopping the ones down over by the spires. If you're new to the channel, we're keeping those guys for ourselves because we like the way they look up against those mountains there. They look really nice. And it only takes a second to run over here. What's that bounce? It'll kill you, huh? Sometimes that bounce will kill you. Yeah, if we get this lumber mill going, that'd be great. There we go, beautiful. A tree should do just fine. It's really starting to take shape. I'm pretty excited about this warehouse. I picture one of the windmills right here, right in this area, and another one over here. We may have two. We might put two up here. And then we have to have a windmill, of course, for the uh, the bakery area and for the farm area. We've got to have windmills going there, too. So, yeah, I, I see us having several windmills. And I don't know if you noticed this either. The skulls and the sticks and the skulls. We've got a few down here now with us. Um, okay, so we're good to go on that. I need to make some rounded timbers with these branches, these logs. Let's do up a couple of those. While those are going in, what else do we need? Uh, I've got the planks, and we've got the timber. Keep those guys right there. And let's do that, and let's make some quick timbers. And I've got I've got timber down here in this rack, but we'll just use the stuff we've got over here. i got this stuff over here for kind of building purposes. I think I needed eight of those, right? Do one more. Let's do one more of those. Okay, G, and then we should have everything we need, right? 8, 1, 8, 20, and 1. Yes, we do have everything we need. Beautiful. Number 6. Let's see what this guy looks like. Can I get around him? Yeah, I can. Oh, wow, he's beautiful. Look at that. Nice. And what do we need for this guy? I think we need uh, some saw blades, right? Are there saw blades to be made at the workbench? Or is this something that may be made at the smithy? The grist millstone was here. Wait, no, that's not grist millstone. That is the coarse millstone head. We're also going to make this guy right here, the ore hair crusher. That's going to be great. Okay, here's the other one. Smooth millstone head. That's six stones and a round timber. Let's go ahead and get that one made. 
so we have it made. And... Hmm... I don't see any saw blades in here. Let's go up. Uh, let's go upstairs and check the, the the forge. Maybe the forge is where you make those. <laughs> well, here they are. Yep, here we go. Oh wow, forty mechanical. Okay, forty mechanical parts. 30 mechanical parts. So we need these saw blades. This is the chandelier. It's 15 mechanical parts. Not mechanical parts. Metal parts. And then the <laughs> the flax. So it's six of those. That's for the chandelier. But we do need these guys right here. Um, let's see. I have some ores over here. Right? Yeah, I've got a bunch of copper. Alright, let's do this. Let's get the copper going. I think these are going to be cheaper. Didn't I pick up a whole lot more than that? What's going on here? Where's the copper? Oh, okay. I sworn I grabbed all of it. Oh, you know, I can only grab so much. My inventory is pretty full, huh? That's what it is. That's what it is. Boy, so we're going to need... Uh, that's, that's one part right there. That's one of them. Kind of some general maintenance stuff going on today so we can progress along in the game. I've got the tin and I've got this stuff right here. So that should be enough to get us rolling here uh, on mechanical parts. Uh, I think it's medi or medical parts. Now I'm going to say medical parts. Metal parts. Okay, that's 40. And then we're going to need three more. Let's dust that. Let's go in here. Let's drop in those metal parts. And let's go down here and craft this guy up first. Awesome. That's going to leave me five short. And we're going to craft one of those guys up too. Awesome. We're going to be able to saw logs. Once we get the windmill moved. <laughs> Once we get that moved, that is. Pretty cool. And... There we go. Saw blades acquired. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anything in my inventory I can drop off? No. Okay. All right, so we've got that taken care of now. Let's go see what this looks like down here. I've been kind of trying to wrap my head around, too, what it is we're going to need for space for the mechanics behind this. Let's see what this looks like with a blade on it. Oh, that's very cool. And then the wind turbine turns this so it cuts the wood. Excellent. So one is good at cutting timber, timbers, and one is good at cutting the planks, correct? And I should get more off of them as well. So we could take this out of here and switch these blades out. There's a double, there's a double blade. All right, sweet. That's cool. All right, so let's grab these two out of here. Let's grab these out of here. And let's put these... Do we have room in this chest right here? We do. Awesome. Let's do that right there. We'll throw that linseed oil in there too. Okay, and then we've got some timber that we could drop in here as well. And this guy's full of planks. Get one more of these there. Alright, beautiful. 
Um, all right, give me one second. I'm decide what to do. I think what I want to do is try to set up something right here on this platform that's going to work to to get this going here. So that's going to be my goal today is to really get the lumber mill going because you guys talked about how important that is for me to have. So I've got to do some moving of things around, which I've got plenty of space for stuff right now. So it shouldn't take me very long. Uh, but yeah, give me yeah, just uh, give me just a minute and I'll move some stuff and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a bit of a structure up. Uh, it's been difficult. I've died twice. Um, just because of the precarious perch that I'm on down here. It's got nothing to do with what's been going on up here. Uh, part of it did break and come down with me underneath it. And then this broke underneath me too because I had to come out one more just so I could get on the outside of this to get the actual windmill on. Now I had wanted it to be a little bit higher than that, but it doesn't really need to be. I've tested it once already with a really simple, simple setup. And it, it cut through the wooden timbers just like a hot butter through knife. So, I mean, it worked out really well. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead here. Let's see if it'll hold this. Yeah, it will. Okay, so there we got 100% on that. You can see the saw blades are turning. So what we have here is we've got the windmill, of course. And then we've got the framed vertical mechanical joint down. And then we've got the vertical mechanical split right here. I don't think I need this entire piece right here. I think I probably could use a different one, but I've got to get myself more familiar with the different pieces of this to uh, to get it to work out. But it, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous how they work. The little cogs and stuff work together like this. So you can see the windmill is moving really fast. The Tashma's video, I have even watched it. He did a second one to kind of show how uh, the different elevations work. And it seems that when you're up higher, at least five blocks, uh, the windmill turns at a maximum rate. If you go much higher than the five blocks, then it tends to slow it down a little bit. And if you're not high enough, it, it moves slow as well. So five blocks seems to be the key, but we're quite a ways up off the ground right here. So I don't know if it's got something to do with the elevation that I'm on because I'm on the side of a spire like this and there'll be more wind up here, or if it is based on actually the, the blocks themselves. Like, okay, so it knows it's on two blocks. If it was on three blocks, would it go faster, four or five, so on and so forth. But uh, you can see this is working really quick. I've done some work on it already. If you look at this, it's just amazing how fast it cuts things up. This is the timber blade. The double blade is for the timbers. So if I take a log and throw it in here, it's going to cut up timbers. You can see right there, it just did that again. Let's take these out. Let's take these out as well. And uh, let's see if we can get these actually put somewhere. I think, okay, I've got room for a few more planks is what I'm talking about here. Planks, okay, and then timbers we can throw over here. Let's do that right there. I've been at it for a little over an hour now trying to kind of get this thing worked out and figured out and all that good stuff, so uh, bear with me on this. It's, it's, it's all brand new to me, but I love the way it looks, and I'm going to wait for the sun to come up and get a good shot of it for you guys so you can see it. Um, so let's go ahead and throw a log in here and see how many timbers we get. There's one log we get six. Okay, so if you do it in your inventory, in, from a log to timbers, you get three. If you go through the workbench, per log, you get four timbers. If you use the saw bench, you get six. So that's double what your inventory would give you and two more extra than what a workbench will give you. So that's pretty cool. So let's go down here and let's take this guy out. And we'll just double click that one back in there. And then let's throw this log in there. Let's take these out. And let's see how many we get for a log when it comes to the planks. Looks like it takes a little bit longer for it to do it. There it goes. Wow. Okay, so that's uh, let's see. That's uh, it. It would have turned it. It would have turned it into four timbers first, right? And then the four timbers turned into well, six timbers turned into thirty uh, planks. That is uh, that's huge. Let's throw this guy in. Let's see how many extra we get off of the one timber. You get six per timber. Okay, so that's pretty nice. That's actually really great. Throw that in. Look at that. Look at the multiply down there. Just rolling in like that. Oh, you guys are absolutely right. This is going to be a lifesaver for us when it comes time to build on the side of the hill, huh? I mean, look at how awesome that looks, too. Now, my goal for this here is not to leave this at this location. 
Um, I like the fact that we have it up and running and it's working. Uh, the, the downside is the drawer is over on this side right here, but I guess that's not that big a deal. It shows the output is on the other side. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, this is the output where there's the... Uh, would this be sawdust that would come through here? It would be sawdust that would come out of here, huh? Anyways, uh, what I would like to see it is actually back here. Three up. And then hopefully, hopefully, if I can swing it, I would love to run the, 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 the mechanical shafts into the mountainside here and into here and then down and have the lumber mill inside here just to make it look more interesting and more elaborate and more mechanical to look at so it, we kind of fill up an area and just be kind of something really interesting to look at. It already is quite beautiful to look at, but it'd be kind of fun to be able to do that as well. And I'm pretty sure if we wanted to, and I don't want to because I love the mechanics and how they work, we could probably do something like this right here. Yeah, we could easily get away with doing something like this here, Z. You know, like that, and you could block it off. Kind of hide it. Oops. Apparently we reached the maximum weight. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have ma reached the maximum weight of this thing and uh, it's all broken up now. So that's no good. We can't do that. So we have reached uh, maximum weight. Oh, does that mean I lost my whole windmill? Oh, that's expensive. Is there any piece of the windmill left? <laughs> There's a stick down here. This is all this is all wasted. Um, oh no, I think I lost the whole windmill. Yeah. Okay, so that's obviously too heavy for that edge right there. It's too heavy. nothing of the windmill left either oh man the good news is the flax that started growing out in that little field I made out there some of it came in so we do have some flax going ah oh, that is really a shame that I lost that well I didn't have that for very long just can't give me nothing nice <laughs> okay uh, so it'll work uh, we can put it back up you just can't add the walls to it right now so it I mean Structural integrity wise, this is obviously, uh, yeah, it's just too heavy for it. Oh my gosh. So the windmill itself, uh, I don't suppose I got any of that back at all in my inventory. Huh? Nah, yeah, it's all gone. It's all gone. So what do we need to do to make a windmill again? Oh boy. Um, uh, oh boy, it's actually, it's actually G. Oh, uh, Four of these guys right here. Windmill blades. Six ropes. I've got the timber that. I think we can make that right there. We've got an extra linseed oil, so we're okay there. Let's see if we have what we need to make something like this. Let's see right here if I've got... I've got 12 flax in here. Do I have any flax in this guy here? No, I don't. I've got some flax upstairs. Let's see if we can get the windmill back on at least. Uh, so I've got that going. Oh, that's a real shame. Well, there you go. Structural integrity. It's not creative mode, people. It's not creative. I just can't miracle one back on there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's no flax in there. I think we... Oh, there's a cloth. So that's a good thing. Um, is it in this workbench here that I make the blades? The windmill blades. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, here they are, right here. Sticks, timbers. Okay, so we'll throw some more sticks in there. Timbers, and then we need some cloth. Okay, so a cloth gets me one of these guys here. So I need three more pieces of cloth. Um, okay. My tools are wearing down. I've been at it for quite a while, guys. Just trying to get it figured out so I don't have to fumble around too much. Let's just turn all this into cloth. We'll see how much we wind up getting with it. That's it there. 
And then we need one, two. Oh man, I don't even have enough for that. I've got just the two. That's the blade, so yeah, I've got to hope that that other flax grows and I can uh, get it up and running. Um, cloth. Two, three. Yeah, that was an ex expensive break. Okay, there's three of those. Um, I think that's all the flax I have. The flax I've got growing outside there, I need to hold on to. So I can get it growing again. Yeah, um, I have a rope, and then we need flax for rope as well. So, yeah, I'm just kind of, uh, I think, out of luck here. Let's go see. I used some for linseed oil, so we don't have any for that either. So yeah, it, flax is going to be huge. I need to get a good flax farm going and just focus on that. And we maybe we have to come back. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, this is wonderful. Oh, talk about saving the day. Oh, save the day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I've got flax down the farm area, so I can take all of that and turn that into seeds and multiply it, so I'm okay with that. <sighs> but I'm going to have to do that a few times. So we'll get this windmill going again and make sure we uh, use it just for the, the lumber. At least we're going to have one for the lumber. Okay, so now I need to go back to the spinning wheel. Sorry, guys. Back to the spinning wheel. And there we go, and let's get a little something to eat. Okay, so I'm going to need some more of this. We needed one more of those, and then we needed one, two, three more total. We need, to, we need five. So we're, we're out of luck there. That's four. Okay, so then I can make another cloth. And then I need... That's for the windmill. We need one, we needed one more blade, correct? Yeah, I've got three. I need one more. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to make one of those. That's five. Now, I'm going to need rope. And that's more linen. And I think that'll give me enough rope. I think I should have six rope is what it was we needed. Let's go see if that's what we need to get this thing up and running again. They're beautiful. I think they're fantastic. I love the way they look. Uh, okay, so let's throw that in there. And let's make one more of these. And there's our other four. Let's go back to... Let's go back to G. Take a look at the windmill blade. Okay, so we've got the six rope. We've got that. Do we have a linseed oil in our inventory? We do have three. We have three extras. Okay, beautiful. So we've got that. So now all I need is the timber. That looks weird. Oh, that's the rail. That's the rail coming through there. I might have to take that out and use one of our... Uh, timber and round timber rails instead for that so it doesn't bleed through the wall. Don't like it when they bleed through the wall like that. Alright, before I jump in there again, what do I need? I need one round and ten regular timbers. One round and ten regular timbers. Okay, so number nine. Oh, that's right. I was down there when I did this, huh? Okay. Let's go back down there. <laughs> it's going to be precarious, but let's do it. We're going to just have to do it for just... We'll have to be on there for just a second, so we should be okay. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Keep your fingers crossed for me here. I've died twice, like I said. This thing is broken underneath my 
my weight and the weight of what it is I'm holding to build with uh, twice. And has killed me twice. Uh, nice little thing if you didn't know it, and I do now, that there is a little green icon that pops up on your, your compass that shows you where your uh, stuff is when you die, which is pretty cool. Uh, we don't need that built up like that. There we go, and then we're going to do... Uh, let's see, to get back out here again, we need... I was using this... No, I was using this guy right here. And then I'm going to need the ramp back again, too. Number six. Number seven. Oh boy. Number nine. Quick, get up there. Get it on there. Cue it. Boom. Get off of here. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to take some of this material back just so it doesn't collapse on me again. There we go. Let's put this all back to here. Number six. Uh, looks like all this stuff is taking some damage, huh? There it is. I need to get this back because I'm going to need it. Let's fix this one here, too. Okay, that's just the, uh, that's the wood. Okay, so that's all fixed up. We're good to go there. Yeah, I'm just trying to use that as little as possible to get up underneath there, but it's, it's difficult to build up here on this height. You have to have something below you to get in there. All right, let's try this again. It was 100%. That's at 100%. And the saw blade itself is at 100%. So this should work again this time. Windmill blades, three to four. I thought I had them all. Did I make that last one and not grab it out of the thing? That wouldn't surprise me at all. Of course, there it is. Hold on, four. I can't seem to get this torch to turn off. Yeah. Weird. Usually pushing L will turn your torch on and off if you didn't know that. If you've got the uh, torch in your inventory, just hit L and it turns the light on and turns the light off. But it didn't do this time for me. Okay, now do I have everything I need for this? Yes, I do. There it goes. There it goes. Beautiful. Alright, so obviously our structural integrity is in jeopardy out here. So this stuff out here on this balcony needs to come in here. So next episode... I'm going to focus my attention on digging this out and getting the big boy blocks put in here so that we can get this stuff that's outside that's supposed to be in the warehouse into the warehouse and off of that balcony out there because I do want to put some different things out here. And like I said, I want to move this windmill back. I want it to be back here. This is where I want it to start and I want it to go up and I want the blade to be up here. So not only is it visible to us down here while we're on this platform, it'll also be visible to us while we're on top of the spire. And from a distance away, it ought to look really fantastic up there. So that's my goal. That is my goal. Wow, that is really awesome, isn't it? Look at that thing go. Oh, you know what we lost? We lost a torch. We lost a torch over here. It collapsed right off the edge. Uh, I, I'm not going to pretend like I know too much about these blocks. We're we're still learning, so you know, just uh, just try them out. Trial and error with a lot of them. That that's what I was doing. That's why it, it took me so long to put together this. I, what I feel is a very short video. It took me about three four hours to put together because I've been just kind of fooling around with the different combinations to see what it does. I do know this guy right here needs to turn out so that the cogs and gears have something to plug into in order for it to work. And they all have to do that. They all have to be able to connect with each other. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, I'd appreciate it. For, oh, I'm in red. Oh, I gotta change my, change my outfit for sure. 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share it on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.